Hi, I'm Jim Kleefeld. Let me tell you about a kind of creepy adventure I had last Halloween. I was out trick-or-treating, going door to door, just knocking on doors and saying hi to friends and neighbors, and I noticed a crooked wooden path leading up uh, to a hill I'd never seen before, kind of outside my neighborhood a little. Walked up there and I saw a very creepy, spooky old house. And outside the house, on the porch of the house, was this strange box. A very strange and unusual box just sitting there with a, a little sign on top of it. This sign right here. The sign said, Gruella's Apothecary. Potions and powders. Looked a little scary, even a little creepy. When I looked inside the box, I found these two strange canisters. Two canisters sitting on the box on the porch of Gruella's Apothecary. Well, I wasn't sure what exactly was inside those canisters, so uh, I decided to take a peek. Nobody seemed to be around. I lifted up one canister. Ah! Ah! Spider venom! I quickly put that back down again because I sure didn't want any spider venom. I lifted up the other canister and... Newt juice. Ugh, creepy newt juice. Spider venom over here. Newt juice over there. Then, I thought, wait a minute. I wonder what the spider venom is for. I decided to check the label on the spider venom, but when I went to look, the newt juice was in that canister. And the spider venom was over here. <gasps> That really was a little bit creepy. At first, I was absolutely sure this was the spider venom, and that was the newt juice. And when I looked, the newt juice was back over there, and the spider venom was back over here. Something definitely creepy was happening on this porch at Gruella's Apothecary. I decided maybe I, the spider venom. Wait a minute, I thought that was... Ah, oh, the newt juice was over there, and the spider venom must be gone. Another one. There's a spider venom over here. There were two canisters and two bottles of spider venom. Ah, uh, well, I took the spider venom out of here, but I found the newt juice had appeared right back inside of it. And over here... Ah! Rat poison! What was Gruella doing with all of these strange things in her apothecary? If there was rat poison over there, then where's the new juice? The new juice was back. Something definitely was in it. If that was new... Ah! Look! Zombie virus! Oh no! I didn't want to see any zombie virus. I sure didn't want to look at it. I emptied that canister, but, but no! The new juice was back again! But the new juice was over here and the rat poison was over here, maybe I should just remove the rat poison. I take the rat poison out, and that means that, oh no, the newt juice is back. The newt juice is over there, that means, ah, red blood. It looks like something from Dracula. Uh, maybe I ought to uh, move the red blood out of the way and check again to make sure it's empty. And it's not empty. That's the newt juice is back again. Well, then over here, there must be, ah, Oh no, look what's over here. It's truth serum. Some kind of other magical Gruella potion. <laughs> I better take the truth serum out and set it aside. That means this canister would be empty. No, it's not empty. The newt juice is back over there. If the newt juice is over there, then over here, the... ah, embalming juice. There's embalming juice and red blood and truth serum and spider venom and zombie virus and rat poison. And... I think maybe I better set all of those aside. There, the embalming juice. And there's the spider venom back over here. Well, then what's over there? Uh, ah! It's liquid zombie. You know what? With all of those crazy and strange potions on Gruella's porch, I decided I better hightail it right out of there. I left all of the bottles, all of the signs, all of the boxes, and all of the creepy potions and vanished into the night. I hope you had 
just as creepy a Halloween.